Okay, here we go again. Please, all under 13s, leave the room. This video is not for you. This is an adult video, and yeah, we still doing that crap. Yeah. Anyway, hey you guys. So today we're looking at this, which is a Star Wars Luke Skywalker uh, Skywalker Strikes. Whatever that means. Um, I do love this artwork on the front. That is some pretty cool artwork. Lay showing a bit of leg there, darling. Um, now, as a kid, I always wanted like this figure because I always knew that Luke surely wouldn't have run around in his like PJs for the rest of his life. Found out the other day. Did you know that the trousers that he was wearing in A New Hope were just a pair of jeans that they bleached? Yeah, who knew that? Amazing what you can find on the internet, isn't it? So, I as a kid always wanted that kind of Luke because I knew that you know like the best bin Luke was best bin, and the other Luke was him in his Jedi robe, be sort of outfit. So this was a figure I kind of always wanted in the classic range as a kid. So that's why I had to pick one of these up. So this is, you can see, I think this is an exclusive UK. I know other people have done these videos and stuff, but. I just got mine, so. Uh, voiceover man, it is your turn to do a bit of reading. Please. Luke Skywalker and the ragtag rebels opposing the Galactic Empire are fresh off their biggest victory so far. The destruction of the massive Death Star. But the Empire's not toppled yet. When a rebel assault goes wrong, Han and Leia must think fast to make their escape while Luke comes face to face with Darth Vader. In the explosive aftermath, a humbled Luke returns to Tatooine to learn more about his mentor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Thank you. Go sit in the corner. So, this is, yeah. I do like the hour on the back. I, I don't know if I actually have... I think I'm going to have to pick up the graphic novel of this stuff when it comes out, because I am being told that it is fantastic. And I, I have an issue with buying kind of individual comics, but anyway... Uh, as you can see, on the side there, it has like comic book artwork. I don't know if you can see, not really. It's a bit dark, but yeah, down the side there, and on the top, it has him on a speeder bike on the top, and on the bottom, it has him fighting some stormtroopers. But it's kind of mm. on that side, Luke Skywalker, Skywalker strikes. Uh, artwork on that side. So the Velcro, when I opened it, was a little bit <coughs> thub. So on this side, we have. Um, Jedi training implement thing with blast. Uh, with the blast visor down, how will I see? Lightsaber, blaster, and the two books. I believe that's Ben Kenobi's journal, and that's some kind of Jedi journal. So, and there is the man himself. Now I know this figure has now become available in a regular Black Series range, but like I say, this was an exclusive. You don't get those bits with that in the set that's out now. So, I've got to figure out how you get into this ding-dang thing. So, I guess it's going to be up here. Do that. I'm not sure if this was like a UK exclusive, like to conventions and things. I got it from Kapow Toys. So, mm -hmm. Right, so we have, this is a bit antique in. It's a very nice helmet with some very nice artwork on the top. Uh-huh. Very nice. We have ah, this way. Oh, it's kind of a book. Oh, and it opens. Mm, okay. Ah, right. I guess the idea then is that let's tilt this that way a little bit. And then you can see there we go. I guess then that this goes in like that. And that is Obi Wan's journal. Which, obviously, isn't a real journal. We shall pop that in there for now. There we go. Uh, we have... Let's uh, go down by like this. There we go. And... The top. Let's go a bit in this. And the blast. So, I guess that... Supposed to put that on the end of the saber, like, and it's put in one because like that. 
How long does it stand? Let's have a look. Let's get that out of there. It stands pretty well, and it is quite. Everything is <laughs> just the wrong height. There you go, and it is quite maneuverable, so you can put it in a thousand and one poses. I say that like that. Blasting. Yeah, and it is quite. Quite nicely painted on the end of there as well. Not too, you know, perfect, but not too shabby either. Yeah. I keep looking at it. I think that paint job is brilliant. Yeah, that is definitely cool. Then we have the Weapon of the Jedi and Lightsaber. They've got these little elastic bands around them. Keeping them in. Which is obviously his father's lightsaber. And I presume that that is removable. Oh, and it's got a nice big peg on the end of there as well. So fingers crossed we won't be breaking that one. There we go. Yeah. What's we got? Oh, and a blaster, which I have to admit, I've seen this in some things. It does look a little bit like a Princess Leia blaster. But we'll forgive him for that. It's not his fault. Get that in focus. Very nice. So, let's see if we can get Luke out of the box. This is like the Yavin outfit, as they call it, from the end of New Hope. Oh, I used to call Star Wars when I was a kid. Now, give me a sec. I'm covered in little tags now. Get out of it. So, there he is. Will he, is he a stander straight out of the box? No. Right. Now, I'm going to be careful because I keep breaking these things. You're supposed to warm them up and it is pretty cold today. Yeah. That's not too bad. That, that one is slightly worrying me. Let me just... Uh, did I plug the hairdryer in? No, I didn't. There we go. So, let's have a look at that face, because that is the important bit that they do get wrong a lot. Now, I actually think that is quite... Oh, no, I think that's quite a good likeness. You've got to remember with actors, you only ever see them from certain angles, so that is probably his good side. Bad side. You know what I mean? But that, I don't think that's, that's one of the better looks. I like the eyes. The eyes are very well painted. Jacket with nice motif on that. The shirt under there is kind of like Jedi robey kind of thing. Belt. Um, yeah. Trousers with the... I thought that was like a Corellian thing. But, mm-hmm. And broken up a little bit on that side with the holster and nice boots yeah articulation wise it is all a bit stiff so and remember this is out of the box we don't cut in our videos these joints do feel a little stiff so i would recommend going cautious with them for the first five minutes but yeah oh wow stiff as anything uh, leg out that way, kind of goes, yeah, has swiveling that bit, has the double knee, oh, definitely a butt kicker, wow, that's a nice bit of articulation on that knee there, ankle that way, and has swivel, yeah, pretty good, you're going to get this into some interesting poses. If you can get the damn thing to stand. Move forward, then lean that bit back. So you do it. <laughs> That's how I was leaning on the table. Yeah. 
There we go, that's not too bad. Yeah. So, blaster goes in right hand. No blasters, no blasters. Lightsaber. In uh, that hand. Yeah, and that is a very nice look, I have to say. Let's find the a famous a turntable. There we go, one revolving turntable of doom. Take this up a bit. There we go. I'm gonna take it out anyway. Yeah. I think this is going to be a favourite look of mine. Is it worth picking up the um, the comic books that these are from? Which are the best ones? You guys can tell me. Close with that face. I, I think that's quite good. Now all I need is a good hand solo um, from New Hope. And I'll have the full team. And I have, of course, my cross-eyed Wookiee. Cross-eyed Chewie. <laughs> Go find that video. It's, it's an interesting figure. It was the early days of the Black Series. Oh, so I guess this goes like so, and then you put that on there, like that. Oh, that looks quite good. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. So yeah, I think this is a nice figure. He's definitely going to be sort of pride of place on my shelf. The head's got a nice amount of articulation as well. Yeah. You can do Michael Myers with him. So yeah. That's definitely a 10 out of 10 for that one. Oh, let's see if the, hol the gun will go in the holster. It's a, it is kind of a rubber gun, so it does bend. Yep. There we go. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah. So I'm doing this um, on what you guys in America will call Thanksgiving. I'm from the UK, so we don't have that. But to all of you guys out there that are celebrating your Thanksgiving and eating all your turkey and stuff today, have a great day. Um, this is a really nice figure that I really, really like. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I know that it is available in the other, just the regular loop without the added extras. But yeah, I think it's definitely worth picking up. And I think that's kind of a cool, a cool idea. And I'm definitely, definitely going to have to find which are the best of these graphic novels. Anybody read that out to me? Mm. So. Oh, helmet. Will it fit? Nearly forgot. Yep. Though his nose is pressed against the... Let's just make sure that hasn't scraped all the paint off his nose. Go get the damn thing off me. There we go. The Jedi is still standing. Yeah, I think that is a nice figure. And that head may be useful for swapping onto other Luke Skywalkers. So, yeah. So, if you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the likes, hit the shares, hit the subscribe buttons down there at the bottom. I'm going to stop waffling and go off and have a cup of tea or something. I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all in the next video. May the Force be with you. Always.